Hey you guys, I'm Tatiana Spiteri. Thank you for watching me and join my channel Blog Goal Vision because here we're analyzing everything that comes up on Eurovision.tv channel and TikTok and everything, everything from rehearsals to predictions to reactions to the final and uh, what the F moments of Eurovision 23 later. Now we are looking right now at the first rehearsals by Malta. How did those go? Uh, did the guys step up to what they did in the national selection in Malta? Did they overdo themselves? Um, what are the new elements they've added? I'm so excited to watch it. Uh, from the very beginning Maltese um, song didn't stand out for many or was like heavily underrated according to others. However, the guys have such lovely personalities and um, I'm curious to see what they've got on stage. <laughs> Now, I already see this uh, party caps, the same that they had in the uh, music video. So mm -hmm, Malta decided to go more with the music video plus national performance elements. Um, positive. I love the props. I actually love the props. I love this uh, combination of green props and the purple, pink, uh, yellow background. It's more like the colors of Eurovision this year, right? <laughs> love the energy on stage. That's the second one. Um, love the energy of the <laughs> of the uh, vocalist and the overall positivity of what I see. Of course, they're heavily, heavily relying on the sex. Epic sex guy now <laughs> belongs to Maltese the busker uh, this year. And um, overall, you know, I believe they're simply deciding to keep it pretty much the same as international uh, performance because it already did great for them. And like in Alessandra's case, it's more like the recipe for success. But in Malta's case, they are going to struggle because they're performing second, which is so, so hard for anybody, anybody, even the best song of Eurovision of any year to qualify from this position. And after Alessandra, of course, this is going to be forgotten. But I haven't mentioned one more plus, and that's something that I discussed with the busker in my interview. Check it out. I told them that why don't you guys take off the sweaters during your performance? It was already about two months before. And then all the pre-parties began. And what did we see? That the guys are taking off their sweaters and they're doing so also now in the actual semi-final we'll see them taking off their signature sweaters i don't know like they have what a hundred of them or something they always throw them into the crowd and then <laughs> appear in the same one next time probably ordered a lot from aliexpress and just uh end up in the silver kind of lighter shirt or another sweater <laughs> be nice to be with a man who wants to know what's underneath my cardigan <laughs> fyi it's another cardigan <laughs> so uh, love their energy, um, a little bit, well, very quirky, yeah, really nothing much to add to that. Mm, unfortunately, not gonna see it qualifying, even though without the jury, they would have maybe had a bit more chance. But no, jury actually vote Malta much stronger than the public. And uh, in this case, jury are not voting in the same final, which might be a downside. There are not so many neighbors that Malta has and... Uh, not going to be that um, wow, even though I believe Italy is in the same semi, but it's not going to vote for Malta. As you. What do you guys think? Uh, does Malta really overdo it with all the props on stage, the cars, everything going on at the same time, the party hats, the um, glittery, uh, shiny outfits uh, with this, uh, you know, caps and stuff and this, I don't know, and this props of Destiny and Diralosco and Chiara, the previous singers from Malta. Are they really that necessary or do you think it's just a little bit over the top and kind of takes it away from the intimacy of a homestay party uh, for Malta, yeah? I love, I love the vocalist going all the time. He isn't really a dancer, you can see that from the performances, but he's got a good feeling of rhythm and he always goes doo, 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 doo. <laughs> That's so cute! Oh my god, what a charisma! Love the performance and if you like this video and you want more reactions, please subscribe, give me a like and write in the comments of what you liked or disliked about Malta's performance in the first rehearsal clip.